The Houston Rockets are trending upwards. They came away with another win against the Los Angeles Clippers as Alfred Sangoon posted a triple-double. The Rockets able to win this game thanks in large part to his contribution. Sangoon finished with 16 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists for the fifth triple-double of his young career as the Rockets have now won four straight games, 6 of 7 and 8 of 10, and they sit third in the West. As the Rockets are also currently leading their Emirates NBA Cup 2024 group. And honestly, I, I think the Rockets got a great shot to win the 2024 Emirates NBA Cup. So you look at this Rockets team, I mean, they have been fun to watch. They're playing with a sense of urgency and they are a hungry young group. And they are in fact on the rise. And this one, I'm going to be talking about the Rockets and what has stood out to me the most about this team. Do me a solid, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more Rockets content just like this. You look at the Rockets, they're off to a hot start. They enjoyed a dominant win over the Clippers, 125-104. And they were shockingly led by Jabari Smith Jr., who had his best game of the season by far. He had 28 points, 11 rebounds on 11 of 17 shooting from the field. Rockets fans are hoping they see more of this out of Jabari Smith Jr. going forward as you look at the Rockets, their defense has carried the day for most of the season for them. I mean, they did a phenomenal job in this one defensively. They held most improved player front runner Norman Powell to just eight points. And this was another game where the Rockets really asserted themselves and were just physical oh matching their opposition's physicality and, and inserted their will as the Rockets they have been doing a great job in the defensive end that's kind of been this team's backbone they're third right now in the league in defensive rating and the Rockets they're setting a tone this season and it's clear that's been all about defense and you look at Tariz and got to talk about him I mean he looks to be a big time player and really I mean, he is just continuing to oppress, and he's definitely going to draw a lot of interest from other teams, but sources say that the Rockets are not entertaining any offers for him. Same goes for Amen Thompson. That has just been an amazing duel from off the bench, really anchoring this Rockets defense. I love the nickname of the uh, the Terror Twins. As uh, you look at GM Raphael Stone, I mean, he's been relentless in his pursuit of tough defensive-minded players, and that's why he brought in Brooks and Van Vliet. And we know that the Rockets, they are priding themselves defensively, and it seems that something that Ime Udoka values above all else. And Udoka's influence can be seen in the Rockets' newfound defensive identity. And it's clear that he's really holding everybody accountable from every player on the floor. And his defensive schemes are built in practice and through film. And Adoka has really shined in-game with his defensive strategies. And, you know, Udoka is the perfect coach to really anchor this Rockets team that is doing really good things right now. And it's a nice foundation to see in Houston as they do have a nice mix of young talent and veteran leadership that's beginning to click and the Rockets they improved last season but we're seeing them take an even bigger leap this season Tari Eason his aggressiveness has just been really stand out I mean he is looking like one of the best defenders in the league he's averaging 1.8 steals on 1.2 blocks per game and he's putting up almost 12 points and five rebounds from off the bench and just watching him how he plays on the defensive end like it's just a thing of beauty I mean whether he is playing on ball defense or not, he's always pushing the pace and just ramping up his tempo. He's got quick hands that makes it easy for him to make plays defensively. And that just results in offense for the Rockets. And, you know, you look at Eason, what he's currently doing. There's never been a player to have a block and a steal rate of 4% in one season NBA history. Eason is on pace to doing that. And also, he is tied for the second most steals in the league while playing just 22.6 minutes a game. And Ime Udoka gave Tarizan the ultimate praise when he talked about who reminded him of Eason's game and he made a comparison of Kawhi Leonard to Eason. I would say Kawhi was a guy I coached when, you know, young and does a lot of similar things as far as uh, disrupting, just being disruptive uh, and just taking the ball from people. Um, Kawhi would be the only guy that I saw do it at a, that level. Um, but his instincts are great. Uh, Energy is great, and he gives you a spark every night. So uh, whether you call a play for him or not, he's going to impact the game on defensive end, on the offensive glass, uh, slashing, cutting, offensive rebounds, shooting threes, and all, all around. So uh, I would say Kawhi is the one guy that he reminds me somewhat of. You look at Eason, he's really standing out among the other bench players in the league, and 
he's just a winner and, and he's just putting his body on the line he goes out there really boosts his team energy and he just looks like a diamond in the rough right now for this rockets franchise and i mean if somebody's having an off night he's in he comes into the game pushes momentum he just completely changes a game with his play on defense and the Terra twins you know with him and thompson they have just been a lethal force one of my favorite duels to watch this early into the season and like i said they've been a big reason why the rockets have gotten off to this great start and why their defense is looking as sharp as it currently is i love what the rockets are building i said this before in prior videos this is a team that's doing it right they're heavily relying on the draft and it looks like that they're not interested in you know, trading away their young talent for a big name. They're doing this thing right. They're taking the slow approach in hopes of really hitting it big soon. You know, Thompson, Eason, Jalen Green, Jabari Smith Jr., Cam Whitmore, Sangoon, by the way, of the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've all been selected by the Rockets over the last four years. And that just goes to show that the Rockets, they are invested in all of these draft picks. And they are taking the approach of the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team that has built their team through the draft. And, you know, now we see the Thunder, they've taken the next step. They're championship contenders. And I really don't think this Rockets team is that far off. Like, I'm not saying the Rockets are going to compete for a championship this season, but they got so many good young pieces. And with the way things are coming together for this Rockets team, like, they are really good. And they have a chance to be a playoff team in the Western Conference, be one of those top six teams, and their defense always gives them a shot to win games. You want to see them improve offensively, but defensively, they are a nightmare to deal with. And, you know, Udoka, he's really emerged as the perfect coach for this young Rockets team. And this core continues to grow. They continue to excel with one another. And the Rockets, they should just be determined to continue to follow the path the Thunder have taken and just trust in, I'm going to use the word process, but it really is trusting in the process of, you know, really relying on and betting big on these young players. And, you know, you look at the young players, Thompson, Green, Eason, Sangoon, Smith Jr. I mean, they are the pieces that are one day, hopefully, if you're a Rockets fan, going to lead this team to title contention. And, you know, you look at the Rockets, they've already said they're not making players like Thompson and Eason available in trades, and that's intelligent because you do definitely don't want to trade any of those two. And I think the Rockets are going to continue to kind of take the, the patient approach. I know their name has come up already in terms of a team making a big trade at the deadline, but there's a lot of good young pieces on this team that you simply do not want to part ways with. And it's good that the Rockets have already said via sources that they're not going to trade Thompson or Eason. But you look at this Rockets team, guys, they're on the rise, and they really have the potential to be the next team up. The Rockets, like I said, I don't think they're far off. I think this team is really doing a good job, and they have been one of my favorite teams to watch in the Western Conference, for sure. And uh, we'll see if they could keep it up. And yeah, I mean, if you are hoping this Rockets team can uh, kind of show themselves and uh, make an early season statement, I think they could win that NBA Cup. And that would do wonders for this team. I know it's not the NBA championship, but hey, it's a good start. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts when it comes to this Rockets team. Hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. That is it for me. It's Luke signing off. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next one.